Welcome to Beginner's Guide C Programming Tutorial Videos. In today's tutorial, we are going to see the difference between the data types float and double. I believe that we know what is data type and the, what is the use of data types and the different types of data types. And then again, float and double are the two different data types in C for storing the real numbers. Both of them are used to store the real numbers, but what is the difference? When do we need to use the float and when do we use the double? Because Float occupies 4 bytes of memory whereas the double occupies 8 bytes of memory. So let us see that one through this example. Let's say uh, this is a simple structure that I have already put in place. Let me say the data type is float. The name of the variable is A. Then I am going to store 1.7. Right? Then let me check the condition if. this this variable a equals to equals to 1.7 I'm going to print true else I'm going to print false so this is a simple program what I mean is have declared the variable name as float sorry I have okay in this program what I have done I have declared the data type name as float and the variable name as a the value is 1.7 then I am trying to check if is the condition used to check whether the given condition is true or false here if is a statement that I use to check this variable a is equals to 1.7 actually according to this statement this a is equals to 1.7 isn't it so so if this condition is true I'm going to return true else means if this condition fails then I'm going to return this one this statement to say it's false but according to this program as you can see them here a is equal to 1.7 isn't it so so it's supposed to return me true so let me run but as as you can see the results is giving me false but a is equals to 1.7 isn't it so according to this program we expected to return true but it returns false so what is the reason the reason is especially so this is the decimal number that we want to store them into the memory right but computer can understand only the binary number so what is the binary number for this 1.7 i believe you know how to convert the binary number to decimal decimal number to binary so if you don't know try to learn that one before you come and learn this one so the equivalent binary number for this decimal number is 1.1011001 is just keep on going like this it's infinity right this is the equivalent binary value for this decimal number so what is going to happen in this case because this number is infinity but your computer can't store the infinity values right so it has got the limit when it comes to the comparison between the float and double double has two times the more precision than the float for example after the decimal point when it comes to the float you can able to store only seven digit but when you use the data type called double you can store up to 15 numbers after the decimal point meaning that the double has two times precision than the float so in this case since it's an infinity value when you use the float as a variable most of the bits will be discarded whereas when you use the double as a data type let me say you can able to store more number of bits compared to the float variable so when i use this data type name called double now is supposed to be written true why because compared to float this double variable can able to store more number of bits meaning that after the decimal point it can go up to 15 bits 
whereas in the float it can able to go up to seven bits so in this case when you use dabu is going to return true so in short the major difference between the float and dabu dabu has more precision than the float which is nothing but double can able to store 15 bits after the decimal point whereas float can able to store only 7 bits after the decimal point especially after the dot let's say this decimal number is going to give you the infinity values in that case you must use the data type as double if this value is not infinity for example especially when you say 1.0 when you convert this 0 as a binary number is not going to give you the infinity value isn't it so it's just 0 when you convert this 1.0 into binary what is the value here just 1.0 isn't it so so in this case instead of using double you have to use float just because of the memory because float requires only 4 bytes of memory when you want to use the double as the data type make sure that after the decimal point if you have got the numbers maybe when you convert that number let's assume that it is going to give you the infinity of times maybe it's just keep on going in that case you have to use the data type as double because double has more precision than the float i hope you like the video i hope you understand the concept for more videos don't forget to subscribe the beginner's guide.